Woman vanishes without a trace along the California coast and her family tonight desperate to find her. Angela Hernandez left Portland last week, so now she's been missing for four days. Our Trevor Ald is here to explain. This disappearance is rather unusual, right, Trevor? Yeah, it absolutely is, Jennifer. Every family member of Angela Hernandez that we've heard from says that she was always happy to communicate, either with friends on social media or with them over the phone and in text. But abruptly Friday morning, all of those messages stopped. I'm not well, you know, naturally. The Hernandez family is trying to pull itself together after their sister went missing on her way home. It's, this is an Angela's character to not contact the family. The whole way down from Oregon, she was in constant contact with our other sister. Angela Hernandez took off from Portland last week, headed 900 miles south to Lancaster, California. Thursday night, she told her sister Isabel she was stopping in Half Moon Bay at this Safeway parking lot to spend the night in her car. The next morning was the last time she checked in. Just a simple text, I'm about to start driving. And then I replied OK with the heart back to her. And that was the last that I had any contact with my sister. Isabel called police later that night and they began investigating. The San Mateo County Sheriff's Office pinged Angela's phone in Davenport, California, 55 miles south of where she slept. It appeared to stay there for a few days, but they can't check anymore. As of yesterday evening, it's now lost signal and is no longer receiving any um, signal or sending out any signal. Angela's family says at this point they think something happened to their sister. They say they suspect foul play. And even though they come from limited means, they're offering a $10,000 reward for information to help find Angela. She, she is very loved by a lot of friends and family and strangers even at this point. And we just want her home. Investigators say they conducted a very thorough search around Davenport where the phone was pinged both on the ground and in the air and they found nothing, which leads them to believe this wasn't a car crash nor an accident on the cliffside on Highway 1. Back to you.